Right, just to let you know, I've just opened up the old uh, iPhone uh, 3GS to take the SIM out to insert it into my new iPhone 4. Look at the reflection on that. Um, and the SIM is actually smaller than the actual uh, SIM receiver for the new iPhone 4, so it's a micro SIM. What I'm going to do is exactly what I did with the uh, iPad, uh, which was cut down my SIM to make it fit. So I'm going to do that now and hopefully it should still work. So I'm just beginning to cut the SIM now as we speak. That's the old case for the 3G. Um, what I've done is I've just snipped off the uh, security card, make sure I get the right end. And that was there, it's got to go face down. So this is my, this is the end that needs to have the, obviously it's a bit of a nerve wracking thing to do to cut your SIM down, but you know, needs must for gadget fans. Um, I did it with the iPad and it worked fantastically, so you just got to make sure uh, you trim it accordingly. All of this is really waste. The important thing is obviously the gold SIM, and you make sure you don't cut actually anything away into the gold. You just cut away the, the plastic around it. There's actually a little black line, if you can see here. So here and here, which is really, so the SIM really reads in between these two lines. So that's how much space you've got to play with. I'm sure there are much more scientific ways of doing it and marking it out. I'm far too lazy to do any of that. Okay, so that's pretty cool up there. So what will that give me? I might have to trim a little bit off the top just so Obviously, again, a little nerve-wracking because it is my SIM, and if I mess it up, I haven't got a phone all day, which is a bit of a nightmare. So again, let's just trim a little from the top. And a little more from the bottom. Obviously, being careful not to go anywhere near the line. And that is a fit. Okay, so here comes the uh, hold your breath moment when you actually put the sim in. Sim's in. And it's asked me straight away to plug it in, in French, to the computer. Which is a good thing, it hasn't said sim not recognised. So we've actually successfully trimmed down the sim. That's how to do it if you're wondering, if you're mad enough to do it. I'm now I'm going to plug it in and we'll sync it with iTunes and once it's fully synced we will have a play with it. Thank you very much.